What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, it has been a little bit since you've seen the garage. So we're gonna go through and do a little bit of a status update. I will say, I am at this point in time running out of room to work in here. I've had to move the table over here. I've got all this stuff over here. I, I need to clean it up, but the reason that we're having to clean some stuff up. The reason that I don't have the room that we normally do is because we got a couple of packages. Strike that. They're not packages. We got some crates. No, no, that's still not right. We actually got some pallets. Yes, and I said pallets with an S at the end of it. That is plural, not just one. We got two. Why? Because we got some garage cabinets. So, we are going to obviously have to make some room in this garage to put those cabinets up. Um, that's going to be probably in a future video because there is no way I'm doing that right now because it's dark outside. So, no time. Plus, we have to work on Pearl. Um, Pearl, yeah, the parts getter needs some help. We had to get some parts for the parts getter, you know, parts getter Pearl. Anyways. Um, so we had to do that. I had to get her new battery today because I went to start her this morning to go to work. Nothing. Just wouldn't even click. Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm like, what the heck? So I ended up having to jump the car and got her started. You know, had to deal with that this morning. Found out that the battery is old. So now I got to do that. And then also, just like basic maintenance, um, one of the headlights went out because the bulb decided to give out. So... I did something I wasn't planning on doing. Um, I, I mean, obviously it's parts getter. It's just driving around. But I wanted to try something. So I went shopping on Amazon, you know, glorious Amazon like we always do. And I bought some LED headlights. And these are LED, not HID like on Sylvia. HID is obviously high intensity discharge. They are normally hotter and they can be brighter, but with technology shifting for LEDs, they're just as bright with low power consumption in comparison. So I'm gonna try them out. Don't know, the ones that I got are kind of a, I, I have never heard of the brand before, so we're gonna try it. But um, yeah, anyways, this is what we got. And I hope that you guys can see that properly rather than, you know, backwards like I'm seeing right now. Hopefully it's good, but whatever. And then also, back to Sylvia, because, you know, we can't leave her out in the dark. I have been doing some work off camera. Um, I actually did go through and started on the harness. This is actually a Deutsch connector right here. Um, this connector is basically DIY, for lack of a better term. You actually sit there and make everything else. So I went through and I made the pigtails to go with it. These are actually going to be attaching on the inside of the center console because I wanted the switch panel to be removable if I ever needed to in the future for whatever reason. So this way everything is still adjacent to modifying, so it's reversible. Also, I did something else. Um, you guys obviously know that I've been working on getting everything done here, but I haven't shown you guys this. Last time you saw it, it was mock-up. It was cardboard. It was a thought and idea. Yeah, I got that done too. And they are ready to go. I just have to mount everything up. And the wiring, uh, the wiring is pretty much, I would say three quarters of the way done at this point. Um, but that's the good news. There is a little bit of sad news that we're gonna have to review. Um, I had to make some modifications to my original plan for the inside of the car. And what I mean by that is the back seat. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna have to show you guys. Okay, so we're gonna get into the car here. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. This was definitely a sad day, but it was also a good thing. Um, and I'll show you why. But if you can see in here, it is dark obviously, so we're gonna, yeah, you can't really see nothing. 
because there's also really nothing there. Um, the seats are out. I had to take the seats out. I'm, I'm not happy about it, um, but the reason I had to do that is because I got the harness bar in. The harness bar took up a lot more space than I anticipated, and the only way I could get those seats to stay in there was to chop them up. And obviously that's defeating the purpose. So, as of now, the seats are no longer in the car. And, I mean, they were a conversation piece to begin with. Um, obviously based off of some previous friends of the channel. And we still miss them. We still, uh, you know, we still think about them. But, this channel is about Sylvia and the Go Fast aspect. This is about our life adventures. Life does go on, and we will move forward. We're going to have a good time with this, though, because obviously we have the nitrous bottle back here. We have the harness bar. We have the new harnesses that are ready to be installed. Once we get this harness, the sorry, back to the other harness, the electrical harness, once we get that put into place with the switches on the inside of the panel, uh, panel on the inner, inside of the center console once we get that done then we can get the seats back in here get those harnesses installed go get the bottle filled and then go roast some old tires because I do have some new tires on order um, you know because we love Amazon Costco you know Chevy all of it we like to go fast um, the new tires that we're getting are Michelin's because that's the only brand that I trust and really appreciate and really like. And we'll continue to buy. Um, we actually just got some Michelin's put on to Pearl as well and they are huge upgrade over what they had before which was some off-brand mismatched, I have no idea, crap tires that will never suggest to anybody ever, 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 ever. The ride is smooth and comfortable. There is hardly any issues now at all. I don't understand why that is. I don't know the science behind it. All I know is they are better in every way. So we will continue to do that. So from here, yeah, it's going to be a shorter video because I have a lot of work I need to do. Obviously, you know, the wiring and the harnesses and oh yeah, I'm still working on the calipers. Um, actually, I'll just be honest, I haven't started them yet. We've been busy. We just got back from the trip. We've had some stuff here at the house, you know, Marius and Caitlin. We've had to work on a collaboration for the video aspect. And you guys, you're my family. I love you guys. And so, yeah. Um, I did show you guys the steering wheel, I think. We'll switch around. I'll show you again if not. Okay, so we've switched sides. We're going to go through and show you the steering wheel. Look at that. Look at that. We've got the nice little buttons. Yeah, we got it all wired up. Um, I do have the connectors to actually go through and finish doing the wiring on that. That shouldn't be too complicated either. And then from there, who knows what's next? I keep doing this as I go. I start one project and I move on. I mean, obviously we've got the old tires over here. Those are gonna be what we're burning off. We've got the calipers that are down here. We gotta go through and finish putting together. This garage is a mess. And because those pallets are in the way, and when I say pallets, they are ginormous. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, they are massive. So the, uh, the actual cabinets, which I'm gonna post up the stock photo here, that is what we are going to be installing. I'm very happy about it. It's like it's gonna basically fill up this entire wall all the way across over here. And then once I do that, I can go through and repurpose some of the existing shelving because a lot of that is holding tools and stuff like that right now. And it is not organized by any stretch of the imagination because I have no way to do so until I got this stuff. So I will say that I got a very good deal at Costco. You know, shout out to Costco because we love Costco. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. And unfortunately, where we are right now, in Arizona, it's hot. And it's just gonna keep getting hotter. 
I'm gonna have to start working pretty much at night or very early morning, which very early morning is not on my agenda because I like to sleep in because I'm a night owl, I guess you could say. So, anyways, um, yeah. So, welcome back to the garage. Welcome back to the nightmare. Welcome back to my mess. And we are going to have a lot of fun. The reason that I need to get this stuff done as soon as possible is because we actually have two events coming up. One of them, I'm hoping that we're going to have the car done in time. I don't know if we're going to, um, just because the amount of stuff that I want to do, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get that done, unfortunately. But the second one is in August. It's the end of August, and you guys are, of course, coming with us. It is for the Hot Import Nights. Um, I actually, if I remember correctly, we've actually attended um, the most recent one, which is pre the pandemic that's going on still, um, which was, where was that? It's in Scottsdale. It's over at Westworld. That's what it is. Um, the last one over at Westworld, which the video is in one of our history, like the actual history of videos. It does have quite a bit of views in it. If you guys haven't seen that, it's very cool. Even if you guys wanted to go through and just, you know, fast forward through it, it's very cool because you can see a lot of interesting cars. They actually do have... Um, a lot of European cars, they actually do have a lot of custom cars, like actually people doing exactly what we're doing with Sylvia. Um, they're going through and doing their own modifications, doing their own custom touches and everything else, which is really why I like that show, because it actually shows the creative side of a lot of people. And that's why I want to get this done, because this car is specific for that show. I'm hoping that we can get Marius to attend, which Mari, you, you need to let me know. Um, the reason being is because of obviously we did his doors we've done the work on his car we wanted to show it off and it was a lot of fun the last time they actually attended with us the last time we went to that show and this show's just a lot of fun you know i'm hoping that it's going to be similar to what it was last time because obviously there has been some obvious changes for normal life unfortunately but it's all good it's all good a lot of stuff coming. Make sure you guys are staying tuned. If you guys have any questions, obviously, please drop them in the comments. I will respond back to you. Even if you guys want to shoot me an email, go for it. I mean, I I will answer back. Not a problem. Comes into my phone. I get my emails on the daily, just like you know most people do nowadays. And, yeah. So, we are going to end the video here. If you want to email me, email is right here. Please reach out. Um, if you guys have any comments, again, post them down below. Hit the like button if you like the video. If you want to be part of the channel, let me know. If you guys want to win that sweepstakes or contest or raffle, we're just going to call it something to that effect. I don't even know. If you guys want to win that money from that first paycheck, we need to grow the channel. Like it, subscribe, share it, tell everybody. Because honestly, we want to do that. I don't need the money. We are just expanding this channel for a fun platform just to reach out to everybody. And the money could go to you. Yeah, you. You. Not me. You. It's, it could go to you guys. I mean, the more people that we have, the better, you know, it's going to end up being. And that means if you do win that, that means more money for you. Which is really awesome. So, anyways, like I said, we're ending the video here. Please reach out. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe, and we will talk later.